the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. You That's all I just want to throw that into you as you as you were speaking at. Yeah. You need to hear something specific for your situation or circumstance that is not word for word. No, yeah, exactly. Right. With the, with the word of God. Yeah. But <laughs> it will not change one iota Come on. and be contrary to the will of God, which exactly. is exactly God. It will fall in line. And that's mm -hmm. what revelation is. Mm -hmm. Your revelation is opening your mind to understand God's word for your specific circumstance, your specific situation in this day and time. Because God's word is a living document. It is it is life. Yes. Yeah, and so it 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 it, uh, it has a deeper understanding that will always adapt itself to your situation and circumstance. Exactly. So you you can you can read some scripture, mm -hmm. and it does say this or that, but your circumstance. Will not, will not fit directly in that, but the answer you get from God will. Yeah, and I think I think I said another way is was the watch the the means to justify the end. Yeah. In other words, whatever your specific situation is, the the means of getting to the other side that you're looking for, uh, don't use means that does, is contrary to his teaching or his guidance. In other words, if I have to take, steal your house, right? Or steal your car, <laughs> because, you know, God said he gonna get me a car. Uh, and that's what I heard is, okay, I'm gonna get, he said I'm gonna get a car. Mm. And I'm gonna use that example, right? It, it didn't mean to go take somebody else's car, right? Yeah. Or it didn't mean to go rob a bank to get the money to get a car. Come on, you, you see my point is that you're going to be led, but it's still going to line up with according to scriptures, according to the word of God. How you do it, he tell you to go walk down the street and, 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 and just wait because somebody is going to meet you there and they're going to bless you. You you just go walk down the street. You don't go and take some rob somebody. Yeah. You know, rob somebody and say, well, God told me he's going to bless me. No, you uh, something that he's going to provide for you. Yes. And it's going to be done, first of all, uh -huh. in love. In love. That's so the now we talk. Always examine your action. Come Does on. Does it move me outside of love? Yes. The, oh, brother, that's a that's a that's a title of the award that that's the point. Does the my ministry, my walk involves love or it involves carnality or call flesh right. where where you got to sit there and, and, and well that's not true too. you live somebody enslave somebody you abuse somebody you discriminate against somebody you you try to hold them down you sit there and say that i'm more interested in my family wealth opposed to you 
then then you sit there, you can see now clearly, we got you got an issue. You know what I mean? You you got an issue. And and we we need to stay within line and say, what's that old script, what's that old saying somebody just say, what would Jesus do? Yeah. What would Yeshua do? And then that's how you're supposed to respond. Which, which was a great saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see how quick that came in and went out. Why, yeah. why, why, why would that leave? It would leave because with, it, with, with, with scripture. <laughs> yes, sir. Because anything that come, anything that's going to, what do you call it, project back toward him, the system is going to sort of say, oh, we got to, we got to kill that. Yeah, we got to move right? on past that. We got to yeah. get, get past that. We gotta get past that. We gotta be because because our actions or how we've been doing things, our system that we have created, the world system, is what we want in line. And that's why they that's why they killed Christ, right? Because you weren't doing our way. You weren't doing it in our system. You know, if if, if you, were, I, you were doing great things outside of our control. Therefore, we gotta reject it. We could not control you. Nope, we we got rejected. Well, remember what did what they do with the uh, disciples? These are unlearned people. Yeah. yeah. You think about it, it's like, wait a minute, what are they saying? Unlearned. What does what that mean? What does yeah. unlearned mean? Uh huh. Yeah. It, 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 it means that they yeah. didn't come up in the ordinances that they, they they're teaching, right? Their system, their system where we can you can move up the ladder of, of success. Paul did, right? <laughs> and Paul did until he broke away. And then what did he try to do when Paul broke away? Well, oh, oh, it was became all about destroying that, man. <laughs> they, 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 they sent people in, in his name <laughs> trying to change his team. They, they did. They imprisoned this dude. They, and, and, and he willingly went. <laughs> that he was going to fulfill the will of God in, in his incarceration. Exactly. Now, he I was. He wanted to be incarcerated. Nope. Not, you know, he didn't want to be downtrodden. Nope. Be, you know, uh, uh, brought from this place, but but it, he knew it was going to take him the wrong. Exactly. Knew that's that's where his 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 the will of God wanted him. Right. And it, it's funny about when it first started, though, they look at his ministry was quite. It was a good period of time afterward. But remember, the first, I think the first time when he he changed from, you know, having a letter to go to the Mar the Marcus, uh, the Marcus, oh, I think I pronounced it right. I'm missing a little word on it. Uh, but the, the, to go hunt down and drag people back to Jerusalem, uh, the, he was okay. He was cool. Their system loved him then, right? But once he changed, uh, I remember at first, I think he said one time he had to be sneaked out of the city, yeah. uh, outside the city wall of a basket, <laughs> <laughs> so he could get away from these people. Uh, they went crazy with him when he showed up, when he did go to that point leading to a, a uh -huh. Rome, they, they wanted to get him. They, 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 they the, the Roman soldiers trying to figure out, what did this man do that they try to rip him apart, you know? Uh, but that's the whole point. Once you go against the system, that goes with the one you were talking about. Once you go to the system, uh, that's when the system wants to take you out. Uh, I was interested in that song that said, don't worry, be happy. Uh, that, that guy died. Uh, and, I, and I know another movie is coming out about uh, Marley. Uh, what's that guy used to be the... the uh, the guitar and smoke. He smoked a lot. I guess they. they yeah, that was Bob Marley. Yeah, <clears throat> and apparently I was looking at the. Did you see the previews coming up for that? No, I did not. It was interesting. His uh, uh, when you look at the drawings, a lot of cases of uh, Christ, right? <laughs> uh, it's not the European ones, but uh, he had that hair. Did yeah. you? And I was looking at the, the, the character they're going to use, and he, he seemed to be a message about love, apparently. Yeah, that was uh, his message. Love? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Did he came like, like people wanted to kill him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
there was a there was a whole faction of people that wanted to kill him because he was bringing about peace mm. in a land that was fractured between two different fractions, mm. and he was bringing them together. So they couldn't have that. Mm. So they killed that man. Similar to, so it's almost like a little parallel story of Christ. Yeah. Wow. He, he was bringing together the the the, the local people and their leaders along with the government that was corrupt okay and and he was bringing them and he brought about peace he, he had a concert where he made them come up uh -huh. and, you know and uh, uh from my understanding he he was uh the people said that he was he was slain in the spirit and, and, and see, his performance yeah. was led by the spirit of god and Mm. See, there was a good, there was a there was a there's a belief component into it. There's a interesting God's movement. That's that's and that like I said, people they they, they kill Christ. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King, uh, and they always try to come up with an anti one, you know. And I I, I I don't know, maybe Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X was not an anti Christ, but he was something. He was showing a different alternative, I think. At least that's how they painted it for him to show something different. Same thing, I guess, with Farrakhan and anything else. But the whole point is, people, is that your life, you have the Holy Spirit in you. Because anytime they can focus on a man, that's what they'll try to go after. What we want to say is focus on the Holy Spirit in you, right? That's what I want to say, and, and you are a temple. And, and that's what we talk about, you are the temple of God. And we need to make sure we bring that up. Okay, let's go with the next verse. Uh, man, I tell you, man, I can see where Bishop was sitting there and saying, get the, get the, get the what's it called? Get the, the, the uh, central idea of the text. But I think each verse themselves, each verse has a central theme in it. And you got to get right out of there. I like that one. That was talking about living God. You you are the temple of, of the living God. What's the next one? 17. Okay. Uh, wherefore come out from among them? Well. Separate. <laughs> Except the Lord. Uh -huh. Touch not the unclean thing, mm. and I will receive you. Mm. It says in this verse, Paul encourages believers to separate themselves from those who do not follow Christ's teaching or well, clean practices. By doing so, believers can draw closer to God and experience his acceptance and guidance. Oh, which will guide you right back to us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, to, to try and reconcile them. Come on now. We we can't completely separate them if we if you're supposed to teach, share the gospel with the world, you cannot yeah. remove yourself yeah. from the world. But there right. is a time that you need to separate yourself to be to get closer and to experience God, Elohim. Well see, I think I think he's saying the difference on that, I just want to throw it at you, is that he's talking about don't follow people, don't follow the teaching yeah. Yeah. of Christ. Uh, which is con which is different from we talking about going to minister to people yeah. who don't even know Christ, who don't understand the, the teaching of Christ. You know what I mean? They don't know the gospel. They're not receive. They they you're ministering to them. But what he's talking about is you get somebody, and this is this is where I'm talking about apparently how the, the Jim Crow laws, the crusade, and the slave trade, and all these other things is there were people in ministries that were endorsing it yeah that we yoked teach up with there you go come on now practices exactly under, you know things that were not done in love come on now they, they their teaching they their teaching reflected it you know what i mean they they that's why you came up with things such as the the, the slave bible you, you see what i'm doing i'm gonna take i'm gonna take stuff out that will not jive with my agenda, you know, uh, which is a contrary to the things of God. I'm, I'm going to teach you to, you know, like parents who continue to do the generational 
discrimination, the, you know, the racism, you know. Matter of fact, we're going to go to the church building. We're going to hear some words. And then I'm going to go take you home. And I'm going to teach you contrary to the teaching. I remember a congressman, y'all, who was talking when they were talking about the books, some of the books and trying to ban books and all that other stuff and say, uh, why not teach Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so, right? And I want you, I want you to check it out. I was, I was, I'll put it in my head. It says, the, that's, that's a good little song that's incomplete. Because here's his, his y'all, everybody, check this out. I, 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 I'm worried that brother, and I want to see what you think about this. <laughs> I'm not singing it, y'all. I'm, I'm doing the, the, the words of it. Yes, first one we got, Jesus loved me. Yes, I know, for the Bible tells me so. Good point, ain't it? God loves you, and the Bible told you so, all right? Here's, here's, the, next, here's the next one that should have came after that. <laughs> Yes, because remember that thing goes like a yes, Jesus loves me, right? Now here's another one. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you because what? The Bible tells me so. See the difference? Now it's like it's saying that you, you, you make an incomplete song if you keep focusing on what God loves you, but you you want to, you forget the fact is that He told you also to love one another. Here's another good song. Yes, Jesus forgives me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I forgive you. <laughs> Why? Because the Bible tells me so. Come on, bro. It goes so many uh, of the other aspect of it. It's not just that we just read that scripture about the Holy Spirit dwells in you, right? But we're also talking about the fact is that you are supposed to love one another just like he loved each other, just like he loved you. He gave you mercy. <laughs> yes, Jesus gave me mercy. Yes, I give you mercy. Because the Bible tells me so. Yeah. You, you see, but that's what I'm saying is an incomplete song. Because it's not about you. It's about him and how he wants you to be. If he gives you mercy, if he gives you grace, then you're supposed to give mercy. You're supposed to give grace. You're supposed to give forgiveness. That's why he was trying to say the works of the flesh what was the, the key element I saw in the works of the flesh was selfishness. Yeah. What he was saying is, God said, I'm, I'm being, matter of fact, I like John 3, 16 from the self. He said, I am being selfless because I'm giving you my son for to show my love towards you. So why don't you learn to give love to each other? That's all I'm asking you. Sorry, it, it'll come back. It's probably broken the bandwidth. But you, you get that part I'm saying? Can you hear me? Uh uh. Brother Addison lost me. came back there he is. <laughs> yeah the system i guess it busted me out but uh we just continue on uh, but but the more i'm saying is that the contrary is that we're supposed to be what the bible tells us to be we're supposed to treat one another the way the bible tells us to treat one another and that's why i was using that song does that song make sense right yeah we we, we only talk about the song is taught, and everybody knows it, 
by heart. You went to school. You went to Sunday school, right? <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed the study. The session we just went through. I have break those sessions down. I have broken those broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out on text. I normally try to send the ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. i tell you truth, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we have. So uh, I just hope you just capture the whole point is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowshipping with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things, contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no the title, uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, what fellowship has Christ with the lion, the lion represents the devil, or love with hate? What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things of the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil, you want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and it say, yes, you know, you remember that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put in there and the saying is that that that's an incomplete song, and I know it's a children's song, and I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you because the bible tells me so you see what i'm saying that for us as believers mature believers is the fact is what does the bible tells us so right and that's that's what i want you to remember that and then also this scripture here that uh, i mentioned in the introduction well i'm i'm, I'm mentioning now is uh in closing excuse me is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the study. And then I uh, hope you'll see the rest of these segments as we go along and do it. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall 
rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.